So off late, I've been asked a lot about how COVID has impacted my business, Phytobiotics. So being in the healthcare industry, it might be a little bit different. However, there's a lot more awareness on health and people, people are a lot more concerned about their immune system and preventative health and wanting to live a better quality of life. I do vitamins for different categories from pregnancy to beauty to general health and vitality. And what I found was that obviously the beauty products were a lot less because people weren't going out during the lockdown. But things like immune system products, they flew off the charts. So I think the categories I had to rejig things in our business, focus on new areas. The importance of vitamins has really been talked about globally now, especially vitamin D, which has been shown to be really beneficial during coronavirus and pretty much in every newspaper you're reading about it. So that's of course helped my business grow and build more brands and get more customers coming in. But of course, what's happened at the same time during the lockdown, the retail part of my business suffered immensely because people weren't going into stores. I mean, that dropped 70% straight overnight. Um, so what do I do in that situation? Of course, I focus a lot more on digitally because people will be ordering online, whether it's through my own website or other platforms or other retailer platforms. That was the key focus because you wanted people to be able to get the product. Of course, there were shortages of materials and we had to deal with supply chain issues. But ultimately, building that online focus, and I already luckily had a good digital team, which I built the year before. So I was able to leverage on that and expand and grow and get new customers in and accordingly build on that. And now once I have that new customer base, I will improve the relationship by loyalty programs, by sending them information that's useful and be able to build other products from that later on. So the key lesson for me is that really just focus on digital in terms of direct to consumer. Of course, retail is slowly beginning to come back and that's a good thing. And I'm going to have to figure out how to do focus different products in that retail environment, already having conversations with retailers about how we're going to launch new products in different areas. It was a busy time because we had to figure out how to reposition our business. And I think everyone had to do that to a large extent and how to operate and have supply issues. But of course, these challenges, every business come every day, you have to deal with different stuff. Um, fortunately, I'm in a business of healthcare, which is fairly stable, but there are massive challenges in that. And how do you improve, innovate? And that's the key. Try and learn from what happens and try and adapt. It's about adapting your business to the new environment and moving forwards. How am I going to build on that is the question. And that's what I think about every day.